League Baseball on the show for you now as we present coverage from the AAA East. Tonight, the first of this three-game weekend series between the Iowa Cubs and the Omaha Storm Chasers. Omaha have lost their last five games. They'll attempt to break that streak right after this. Jace Vines gets the call for game one of the series. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, Matt, we're getting a look at a guy that's really dependable. Last three starts. He's out. He are three. Three. And stepping in, Gabriel Masio. He'll lead things off here in the bottom and half of the first. For the storm chaser, the dedicated hitter, Gabriel Masio. The pitch. Fouled off. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-1. Not cheated on that swing, but the splitters by him 0-2. You got to be paying attention as an offense in a hitter's meeting in this situation. When you got a guy on the mound that you know the bottom can drop out of any pitch he throws, you have to elevate your sights. Got him swinging on the fastball there. Gabriel Masio is retired for the first out here in the bottom half of the first. Into the box now, Brennan Davis. Yes, yeah, so he'll take a look at ball one. Fellas are visiting team as they take the field after a scoreless top half. They've run their win streak up to six in a row now, and they're really playing some inspired baseball. Yeah, Maddie, this is one of those special moments throughout the course of the season where everyone kind of looks around the clubhouse and takes stock. Six in a row, you have a chance to rattle off a seventh. You start saying, hey, maybe something special is going to happen this summer. This one's flared off to the right side. Right fielder coming on. He makes the running play. Two down. The next batter will be Trevor Larnick. Looking for better results than last night when he went 0 for 4 in that one. As the first pitch to him is a changeup that can't find the zone. It's ball one. And that's right there, and we're even at one. Two out, nobody on. A ball and two strikes to count now with the bases strikes. empty and two away. Still a ball and two strikes. That's a real nice location with that fastball up and in on the hands. Hard to do much with that. But we'll leave it right there as he strikes out, and that ends the inning. And inning in the books tonight, still scoreless here on the show. So now here is Nick Prado. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. Check swing, but he held up in time. Ball one. Now it's 2 0. 2 0 to a guy with this kind of pop. You better be awfully careful because he's going to be swinging out of his shoes. And that's over 2 and 1. Yeah, I get it. They want to run this guy's pitch count up, but that was a pretty good pitch to hit. He might be kick himself that he didn't swing at that one. Full count now. The 3 2 pitch. Hit on one, the one, ground one. is short. He's right there. And that's out number one. Up next, Jimmy Govern. First at bat for him in this one. He was one for four with the double in the ball game last night. Strike one to start the at bat. Still looking for our first hit in the ball game. And he falls behind 0 2. Boy, so far early into this one, this guy's pitching really well. And I'm a big believer in body language. He's getting the ball. He's working really quick, keeping the ball down to the zone. And if you take a look at this guy so far early on, a lot of positive signs. He looks like he brought his good stuff in this one. And a fastball blew it right by him, and there are two down. Every pitcher looks to get off to a good start, and I'd say he's off to a good start. How about the first five batters he's faced? Three of them he sent down via the strikeout. Kelvin Gutierrez is in with two away as he takes a ball, 1-0. Swung on, but it's pulled foul wide of third. Bottom of the second here with no score. And it's fouled away. Swing.
inning and a miss on the knuckle curve and the inning is over. So they're held in check here this half of the inning. We'll go now to the top of the third and we are tied nothing nothing. Ready to go for the last half of the inning and stepping up is the shortstop Brady McConnell. Here's the first pitch to him. Big swing and a miss at the knuckle curve strike one. I love everything this pitcher's got working right now. He's got presence. He's got great body language on the mound. He's got fastball command and a nice early feel for his off-speed stuff. And he fouls this one off. Tough curveball that time, but he's able to make a little contact to keep this at-bat going. Got to take advantage of that pitch right there. 0 2 breaker hanging over the heart of the plate. Not going to see too many of those today. So he sets him down swinging. Brady McConnell is sent packing to begin the bottom of the third. Roger Canoy comes on with one away as he looks at a ball. It's 1 0. Bouncer to the left side. Reined in. Throw gets him. Two down. And up steps Salvador Perez. Batting none. The catcher. And now the first pitch. Salvador. Up and in for ball one. Ball one. Both no teams strike. so far yet to crack the hit column. And they won't get him to chase the curveball in the dirt that time, and it's two and zero oh now. Three Inside and zero oh now. Three. You know, when you haven't gotten a guy on base yet in the entire game. A three ball count kind of feels like a little mini rally. Let's see if he can get on. Three and one the count now. Swings through it for strike number two. He was able to sneak that fastball by him on three and one. So so now we've got a battle on our hands. Short hit hard. Throwing the dirt but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. Make it nine straight here to start the ball game. On now to the top of inning number four. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And striding forward the designated hitter, Gabriel Masio. Hey, Matty, they need to get some offense going in this one. Getting a run back in this inning, give them a little bit of confidence that they can keep up in this game. First offering on its way. And this is line back into center field, and that will be their first hit of the contest. Think there's any justice in the game? Watch those two at bats. Both of them hit on the absolute screws. One's right at one guy, and then one's a single. Go big. In now, Trevor Lawrence. Oh, yeah. He'll take a look at a pitch right too here. low. It's ball one. Trevor. Comes into this at bat, hey, 0 for on, 1 in the ball game. Fouled away. He waits. Now the pitch. Davis leads off first with one away. And this is sliced hard down the left field line. And that is down as that could be two bases. Davis rounds the corner and is headed home. And he's safe at the plate as it's now a one run ball game. Well, when you leave a pitch that high in the zone like that, you have to expect bad things to happen. So instead of a double play ball, he gives up a shot to the outfield, and that brings the runner all the way around from first to score. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off-speed stuff. But this guy's locating, feeling really good about his fastball. Two back-to-back. -back. So he ran the fastball by him for the punch out. Nick Prado becomes out number two this inning. Now the first pitch. Jimmy hey. Govern stands in as he looks at a called strike. Both teams with just two hits apiece thus far. High fly ball out to straightaway center. He's under it, and that ends the inning. So they pick up a run on two hits. No. Bottom of the inning now, and set to go is the third baseman, Kelvin Gutierrez. In there, no balls and a strike. Gutierrez. Line drive to left. But he'll hardly need to move out there in left as this is hauled in for the first out. 
ready now is Brady McConnell. Struck out in his that's last trip to the plate. No. And that's inside for a ball. 1-0. Oh. Fifth inning. 2-1 our score. That ball, ball two now. You can see this guy's more focused at the plate right now. In that first A-B, he went down on strikes. A strike, and it's two and one. Hey, let's go right here. Hey. Fastball is looked at for strike two. I got to count two and two. Hit to one, first. One, one. He's got it. And he'll take it oh. to the bag himself for the out. Next, here is Roger Canoy, grounded out in his last at-bat. Lifted the other way down the left field line. And that will end up a foul ball. ball that and that misses downstairs for a ball, one and one. Bases are empty here with two men out. A ball and two strikes to count now with the bases empty and two away. Not too many guys taking the mound today with this good. A Looking at a fastball to end the inning. Nothing across here this half of the inning. Five innings complete. Iowa leads it two to one. Here's the catcher, Salvador Perez. He'll start things out in the sixth for a lineup that really hasn't found its groove in this one. Yeah, let's see if he can work a walk, maybe a knock ground ball with eyes, something. Catch a gap to get this offense going. Two hits as a team can start demoralizing your confidence. But if he can get on and start some traffic in motion, we might have something. Out in front of a fastball as this is ripped down the left field line. That's going to be a fair ball. He'll get it into second. And he's able to hustle his way up to second as he'll reach here with a two-base hit. When you're struggling as a team to put the ball in play, every base hit is welcome, but a double will really help wake everyone up. That's just their third hit of the game, but it's a good one. And as a result of that errant throw back in, he'll advance 90 feet here and move up from second to third. Brennan Davis is the batter now as he looks at a ball of 1-0. Everyone in the ballpark knows what the pitcher's intentions are in this situation. Great job at the plate to lay off a tough pitch in a good spot. Catch made in center. Here comes the runner from third. And they'll get a step closer. It's a sack fly to make it a 3-2 game now. First pitch of the A-B now. Trevor Larnick stands in as he can't connect here. 0-1. Trying to send him packing for the second time. Nope. And he misses one. there. One and two. Got to think our man behind the two. plate thought twice about that one. About as close one, as one, it one. gets. Fielded cleanly. Wow. And he'll step on the bag himself. And the inning is over. Ladies Miguel Pereira will take over please. on the mound to start now the bottom of the seventh. Number eight. Wow, what a week for these guys. Talk about firing on all cylinders. Winners of an amazing seven games in a row. They say to never question the streak, and these guys aren't. They're just enjoying this ride. 8-4 tonight. The Cubs took the lead in the fourth and held on until the end. Eddie James wins his third of the season. So that's a wrap for us here tonight. For my partners in the booth, Mark DeRozan, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. And for more, click over to theshow.com. For the Storm Chasers, four runs, seven hits, one error. They left five men on base. Welcome to MLB The Show and this presentation of Minor League Baseball. Today, it's game two of a three-game weekend set between the Iowa Cubs and the Omaha Storm Chasers. Omaha attempt to end the six-game losing streak. Next. Christopher Bernier is on the mound for game two. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, how good has this guy been up to this point in a day and age where guys and teams are scoring lots of runs to have an ERA sub two? That's saying something. Hopefully we're going to see more of the same from this guy, one of the top pitchers in all the league.
Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. That's lifted the other way out to left. Jimenez able to track it down for the third out. So here is Eddie James comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. He's set and the pitch. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Long run for the center fielder. He gets there and that's the second out. So the next to bat will be Eddie James. He'll start the seventh, and Dan, as a former pitcher yourself, you must be enjoying this. Lots of good pitching and defense today. Well, that's one of the keys. We're seeing a lot of strikes. We're seeing a lot of swings. We're seeing some great plays on defense. This has been a snappy one up to this point. Larner has to come in a few steps, but he has it for route number one. Striding forward now is the D.H. Eddie James. He flew out in his last A.B. Hit high and deep to left field. Racing back the left fielder. Gone! And with two out in the ninth, they have taken the lead. A solo shot here to left. If they take the lead, it's two to one. Hey, with one swing of the bat, that closer better get ready. He's going to be doing some work in the bottom half of this inning. Wow, that's eight wins in a row, and it seems like they can't do anything wrong. When you're riding a streak like this, you eat the same food, you drive the ballpark the same way, you do everything the same because you don't want to do anything to jeopardize this streak. Pitching and defense game, two to one, the final score this afternoon. The Cubs came through when it mattered in the ninth on the way to the Our win. Adam Morgan earns his third win of the Iowa year Bell. in relief. Enrique Tejeda no closes the door for the save, his ninth of the year. Baseball is live and on the air on the show. Today, the finale of this three-game weekend series between the Iowa Cubs and the Omaha Storm Chasers. Omaha hope to put a lid on their seven-game losing streak. Coming up next. Bernard Goins, the German-born starter, will get the assignment here. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, this is a very unique pitcher. He is really tough to hit when runners get into scoring position, and that's one of the reasons why he doesn't give up many runs. We'll see if he can continue to do that in this one. Now the first pitch. No balls and a strike to count. The windup and the 0-1. Waved at and missed for the third out. Not much of a chance of hitting that one, and the inning is over. Next up is Eddie James, runner in scoring position with Sugan. Did a good pitch. Here we go. First pitch on the way. And here's a slider that's nowhere close, and it's 1-0. and Hey, this pitcher's going to have to step off the mound right here and refocus. Take a deep breath, something. Can't keep falling behind and creating traffic. Puts everybody on edge, not only himself, his defense, and especially his manager. Two out here and a runner at second. This is on the ground over to first. You're down! And he'll You're down! Slip on the bag himself, and the inning is over. It's a run on two hits. So next to hit is Eddie James. 0 for 2 here to start Eddie. the afternoon. Now here's the first offering. Fastball just misses. That's ball one. Low. Base runner at first with one out. 
That evens it up one and one. Come on, big guy. You got this. Let her rip right here. And he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. Govern is under it. Two gone. So the lineup flips over and right digging field. in, Number Vernon nine. Ruiz singled in his last at bat. Ruiz. Yeah, and they take another single right here. That third base coach is dying to wave his arms. I wouldn't be surprised if anything hit hard yeah. through the infield. He's going to wave them. On to first, and there were two down. Next to hit, Brady McConnell. He's two for seven in the series so far. Now the one and one pitch. Hard hit ball to second. Reined in. The throw will get him for the second out, but meanwhile, the run is in to score from third. Probably wanted more out of that if that was runners in scoring position, but at least he does the job and brings one home. Maybe the next guy can pick up the runner at third now. First delivery to him. Lifted the other way to left center. Left fielder giving chase. And he tracks it down. Nice play for the first out. At the plate now is Eddie James. He comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. And now the first pitch. Popped up. Go, 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 go. He makes the catch, and they have finally found their way back into the win column as this ball game is over. Well, listen, there's no doubt they were pressing during that seven-game losing streak, but that's behind them now. Now they can play a little bit freer, which is the way this game is.